The other day I was shopping at Aldi, and I was waiting in line behind an African lady who was placing her groceries on the conveyor belt. She had a ton of stuff and was stacking the items fairly haphazardly. After finishing unloading, she went to the register and the cashier started to scan her items as she started placing them in her trolley. Because her items had been stacked quite clumsily on the conveyor belt, they started to fall over. I caught a jar just as it almost fell off. I could tell the lady was not in a good mood and just wanted to get out of the store. As the conveyor belt was moving, a couple more of her items fell over and knocked a whole bunch of chocolates and chewing gum packets onto her grocery pile. A few moments later, the cashier started scanning the chocolates and chewing gum, and then the lady said, No, 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 these are not mine. The cashier was a bit confused because there are a whole assortment of chocolates and chewing gum mixed in with her groceries. So he cancelled the chocolates and started scanning the gum. Again the lady said, No, 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 these these are all not mine. I piped up at this point and told him that they had all fallen onto her groceries from the side shelves. He then spent some time removing them from the conveyor belt as well as cancelling the already scanned items. Anyway, the cashier had gotten through about half of her groceries, and then the lady piped up again and said, I couldn't find the cottage cheese. Where is the cottage cheese? The cashier then replied, You'd like some cottage cheese? She nodded her head. He then called for another staff member to come, which took about one minute, as he had to come from the back of the store. The cashier asked the other guy to go get some cottage cheese for the lady, and off he raced. Another minute went by, and the cashier had finished scanning all her groceries. He made a slight apology to me as I was waiting behind her, but it didn't faze me as I wasn't in a rush. Another minute went past, and the other guy still hadn't come back. The cashier was kind of craning his neck, trying to look for the other guy up the back of the shop. I turned around to have a look for myself. There was the other guy, madly searching through the cheese section, looking for the cottage cheese. He clearly was fairly new to the shop. Finally, he found a tub of cottage cheese and came racing back. He had a big smile on his face, quite pleased with himself that he had found it. I saw the container, and in big bold writing it had cottage cheese written on it. The lady immediately spoke up and said, No, 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 this is not what I want. I said the cottage cheese. The cashier asked her, You don't want this one? No, no, no. She was clearly pissed off, but the cashier could see that there was a growing line of people waiting behind me, so he basically indicated to the lady that she needed to pay now. Her actions spoke quite loudly. She was angry, but she begrudgingly paid. She snatched her credit card and trolley and made her way out of the store. I'd been waiting for almost five minutes, so the cashier apologised to me, but I told him it didn't matter as I wasn't in a rush. I started to think to myself why the lady was so pissed off. First of all, everyone was helping her. The Aldi staff could have easily told her that she shouldn't wait until she gets to the register before asking for assistance to find an item. I assume the lady was fairly new to Australia and possibly didn't understand this custom. But the cashier could see she was a bit upset, so decided to give her a break and help her anyway. I don't know what she thought cottage cheese was, but clearly she didn't want the one that they had brought her. My feeling is that she wasn't pissed off with the staff, but pissed off with herself, because she couldn't explain exactly what she wanted. It's quite possible she had already tried to find a staff member out on the floor, but because it was very busy, they were all tied up at the cash registers. Anyway, no harm, no foul. Another Aldi observation. The same day, I bought some toilet paper, and when I got home, I noticed that the brand name of the TP was Confidence. I thought that's an interesting name for a brand of toilet paper. Actually, I just found one of their ads for toilet paper on YouTube and posted the link below. What does their toilet paper give you the confidence to do? To clean your backside? To walk around without a dirty ass? It's definitely an interesting choice in name. I'd say their branding people had a bit of a laugh when they first came up with that one. But as Ali claim on their ad, they're good different however you wish to interpret that. Speaking about brand names, I was talking with my wife the other night as to why Aldi create all these different brand names for their products. Other supermarkets tend to have a single brand for their own range of items, which often tend to be fairly plainly packaged. But Aldi have obviously spent a lot of time creating dozens of colourful brands. My wife reckons it has to do with perception. Some people don't like to be seen to have only no-name items in their cupboard. I can understand that. If I've got some guests over, and I serve them up some no-name crackers with some no-name cheese on top, people might think that I'm a bit of a cheapskate. But if I pull out some Eaton crackers with some slices of West Acre cheese, then suddenly it seems a lot more appealing. The only way people would know if the items are from Aldi is if they shop there themselves, or if they closely inspect the packaging. Of course, we have to remember that Aldi wouldn't spend loads of money on paying designers and branding experts if they thought they didn't need to. There must be some science behind it. Anyway, I found most Aldi groceries to be of really good quality, or at least fairly appetising, so I'm not complaining. And that leads on to my last point. 
Some people hate Aldi. I've got friends who refuse to shop there. The commonly given reasons are Aldi just sells cheap knockoffs. Aldi is an Australian, and even Aldi is for people who can't afford Woolworths. Luckily, many Australians have gotten over these hang-ups and are now doing at least some of their shopping at Aldi, like myself for example. I think we all have to get over this hang-up of not shopping at a place because it's not Australian, or American, or Canadian, or wherever country you're from. Woolworths and Coles, despite being Australian, have many of their products sourced from other countries. Supermarkets, or any company for that matter, aren't in the business of only buying Australian goods if they can save money overseas. They're a business after all. People happily buy imported German cars costing tens of thousands of dollars, but yet don't want to spend even two dollars at a German supermarket chain. It's funny how people think. It's strange, my auntie was visiting one time and she's quite a vocal critic of Aldi. Despite this, I served her up a meal that I'd prepared mainly from Aldi groceries, and of course, she loved it. I never told her that everything was bought from Aldi. If I did, she probably wouldn't have liked it. And that's the end of my Aldi ramblings. Do you think Aldi have been a breath of fresh air to your country? Or are they just another globalist company that are all about taking the profits offshore? Leave me your thoughts in the comments section below. Cheers.